Hey, my Oak Island fishing friends, you like fishing? There's an app for that. You know what? I'm going to walk you through my favorite apps for fishing, specifically for fishing on Oak Island. So if you want to learn about a few apps that might help you catch some more fish, let's check out the apps. Let's go surfing on the web. All right, this app right here is the WWAY Storm Tracker 3. And uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you why I like this app. Simple and uh, easy is because it tells me the weather. I mean, uh, it tells me the local weather. For example, um, I can just come down here and I can just click on that right there and I can zoom in and I can see, oh, there was some rain clouds out there in the water. And there's Southport and there's where I live and I can see uh, pretty easy how Oak Island's doing. Right now it's pretty clear skies. That's great. Also, I can check out the hourly weather, and a nice thing about it is it tells me the wind speed. So if I'm looking at it coming up southeast wind three miles an hour, that's pretty calm. I probably can get down to the surf and, uh, and throw a couple of rigs in there. And, of course, you got your daily and everything else. So having this on hand um, and having it specifically for Oak Island is, I think, a nice benefit and a great app to have. So definitely download the WWAY Storm Tracker 3 app. It's a good one to keep on hand. App. This is actually the Facebook app, but uh, I highly recommend if you like to fish in Oak Island that you join this group, which is the Oak Island Fishing Group. It is a private group, so you have to join um, to become a member to see what's going on there, but I'll give you a sneak peek. People uh, post pictures of fish they caught, uh, big fish they caught, little fish they caught, and every once in a while you might even see a video by Sands in the Surf on there. So I'm not going to show you too much because it is a private group, but if you're interested in fishing in Oak Island, you can get on this group, you can post pictures, you can ask questions, you can you know see where the fish are biting, see what people are catching, ask them questions, hey, what bait did you use? Tell me your secret location where I can catch that same exact fish, and people will just give you the information, I'm sure. So that's a really good one there, Oak Island Fishing on Facebook. All right, speaking of Facebook, if you're going to be on there, there might be some pages you want to follow. This one here is Dutchman's Creek Tackle and Bait. This is the bait shop. If you're not familiar with it, it's over by the airport. They have a really great selection when you go inside. It's a small store, but it is packed with stuff. And not only that, but the people that work there are super friendly and super helpful. And um, I've, they've always hooked me up, and uh, so I'm really impressed by them. Uh, they got a lot of local knowledge as well. And if you follow their page, like when they have new gear and stuff like that, they're going to post about it so you kind of know what's going on. And they'll talk about, you know, why you might want to use that gear or what it, you know, what's being targeted targeted um, with that gear so it's just a good way to see kind of know what's going on from a bait and tackle kind of standpoint so give them a follow definitely worth it all right here's an app <clears throat> this app you have to have it's called fish rules I downloaded it on my iPad but I have it on my phone so when I'm out in the boat or I'm on you know wherever I am and I have my phone with me and I catch a fish I can pull this app up let me show you what it looks like here it is right here and as you can see, it's just got lists of all the fish. Just by downloading it, it knew I was in North Carolina waters. Look at that. So it knows where I am, which is fine with me. That's good. And it just lists all the fish I could possibly catch. And all I got to do is, um, let's say I want to check it out. Let's say I caught a Dracovel. I just pull it up, and it shows me right there the fish. It tells me the season. It's open. It talks about limitations, anything you need to know about the fish when you're going to catch it. There's no established bag limit or size limit right there. Um, so if I like that fish, I can add it to my favorites, which is really nice because um, I can have a list of favorites, so I don't have this whole list and kind of scrolling through. But if I filter it and I just look at my favorites, oop, done. now it just pulls up the fish that are on my favorites. So I could be like, hmm, I want to catch a black drum. Wow, the season's open. I can keep 10 a day. Uh, the minimum size is 14 inches, but the maximum size is 25. And I got to measure that with total length. So all that information is right there. There's a picture of the fish. I mean, this is a great app. You catch something you're not sure what it is, this might help you identify it. Um, I click on flounder. I want to catch a flounder. Oh, too bad. The season's closed. If it wasn't closed, I could keep four at a 15-inch minimum, but that's not going to happen. And it gives you some basic information about the fish and, of course, along with the photograph. So this is a really nice app. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend you do do a favorites 
Um, you can make that list my actual ones a lot longer than that with all the fish that I do catch. Um, and because every once in a while I just catch one and I don't catch them in a long time. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember, you know, like how, how big do I, has that fish have to be for me to keep it? So it's a great app. Like I said, you can just pull it up on your phone, take a look at it, drop your phone and keep fishing. So check it out. Fish rules. Download it. Here's an interesting one. It's a fish calendar. Now I got to be honest with you. I don't really subscribe to this um too much for me it's like i'm not going to worry about the time of day to go fishing because when i go fishing is probably the only time of the day i can go fishing because i'm working or something but let's just say it was a saturday saturday like it will be tomorrow i, I might consider it so let's just say uh, today is january 10th now it'll tell you right there you see that bar going across on the 10th that's what a good fishing day looks like according to the calendar now if you look back on the 7th you can see there's only a little bit of blue so apparently it was not a good fishing day but down here scoot it up a little bit you can see that they show the high and the lows when it's supposed to be the best time to go fishing and and about now actually is a really great time that's the time of day it is right now um starting now it's been sloping up it's going to peak there and that's supposed to be the best time of the day to go fishing so um if you if you you know if you want to follow the moon cycles and you want to understand when the best time to go fishing, a fish calendar might be for you. Um, again, I look at it frequently, and if I am home on like a Saturday and I see that and I'm like, well, it looks like she go fishing now, I'll go fishing. The other side of the coin is it doesn't stop me from going fishing. If it looks like it's going to be a bad day, like the 7th was a bad day. I probably still would have gone out and gone fishing and I have gone out and gone fishing on bad days and still caught fish. So it's something to think about. I think it's kind of neat, you know, uh, some people really truly subscribe to it and believe in it. Um, I just, I got to go fishing when I can go fishing. So, you know, anytime's a good time to go fishing, but you might want to check it out. It's, it's fun if nothing else. Right, this app here is not an app at all. It is a website. It is tidesforfishing.com. That's tides, the number four, fishing.com. And this is a great little website because it tells you everything. First of all, you can set it up for your area. So I set mine up obviously for Oak Island because that's where I'm fishing. And it tells you about the weather, the wind speed, uh, the humidity. It tells you about the pressure, if it's high pressure, low pressure, what's happening with it. Is it rising? Is it stable? Is it falling? It gives you all that information. But as well... The water temperature, which is what? Oh, like 63 degrees. That's not bad. Um, yeah, we can catch some fish in that. So it's got all that information on here. It tells you the tides, which is why I use it. Uh, I can see the tide is rising right now, and it will be high tide tonight at 701. I mean, that's great to know um, because... Let's say you're going out on the surf. You want to know what you know. What's the tide? Is it is it low tide? Is it high tide? Is it coming up? Is it going down? And it tells you by day, so you can easily just go here. And I can see that, for example, if I want to go fishing tomorrow, Saturday, um, at 7:27 a.m., it's going to be high tide, and it's going to be low tide at 2:02. It also tells you um, how well the fishing is going to be according to that moon calendar. So you've got three fish over here, uh, which means indicates it's going to be a good fishing day today and tomorrow. Um, so this is nice because it gives you the whole calendar. But even if you don't want to scroll all the way down and go through all this, the neat thing is if you just want to know right now what's the tides right now, you just click the tide button and boom, it comes right up. That's all you need to know, right? So then you can close your app, you can go fishing, you know, you don't need to waste a lot of time scrolling. But if you got the time, there's an awful lot of information on here which is just really fantastic and can really help you uh, probably catch more fish just by taking a look at it and even just reading it. It's really interesting. So I highly recommend tidesforfishing.com. Whoa, I was just about to wrap it up and I forgot one more app. The YouTube app. It's great for learning about fishing, but you already knew that because you already follow Sands in the Surf. Hey, in fact, if you haven't, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to our channel? We appreciate getting the subscribes. If you got any comments, drop me a comment. Sometimes I even respond to them. Uh, when I know they're there. <laughs> and if you don't have the app, go ahead and get it because it's really fantastic. You can go on here and you can search stuff like um, do, uh, do Oak Island, North Carolina, and you can find out all the videos you need to know about Oak Island, North Carolina, and everything else. So, yeah, we're just going to give that one a whirl. And uh, well, what's this one? Five places to fish in Oak Island. That video looks pretty good. Getting lazy. Um, and I caught another mullet. So I do have a refrigerator full of mullet for some fish tacos tonight. This wasn't my start.